Hey guys, we're out here in Auburn uh, today, walking around, shooting some photos on the Canon PowerShot. One thing about this camera that I want to talk to you guys about is it actually does shoot raw. So I should have a lot of maneuverability in the edit to kind of bring those highlights and darks back up and kind of mess with colors and such. So um, a nifty little camera fits in your pocket, kind of thick, but that's just like me for real. These neighborhoods so far are very beautiful. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Photographically too, just a lot of cool cars so far I'd say is number one, but also like the way the light is going through the trees. It's so foresty and stuff like that and hitting, you know, the buildings and the windows and you know, the stuff in their yard. Um, the one downside I've recognized so far too on this camera is the screen is like two inches. So it's really hard to see, but in the edit, obviously I'm gonna get more out of it and we can really review, which is kind of again, like film, you know, it's like you don't really see what you get till you're back and got your nags developed and scanned and everything like that. So um, next we're gonna head down to Old Town, right in this little town of Auburn and see if we can grab some more cool photos before the sun is fully set. So see you in a minute. So we're walking around Old Town Auburn and here's the Auburn Courthouse, um, especially with the way the lights hitting it, it looks pretty sick. And uh, I wanted to try out the panoramic mode on this camera and it's super weird. I want to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, yeah, so essentially the panoramic mode is super weird. It has you line up your first shot and take it, right? And then it takes 15 years to load because it's an old camera. And then it'll move, you see here, to section two, right? And once it does that, it's like a video game and you have to line up where your old shot was and then retake it for the second part of the shot. So I'm gonna go like here, right? And hope that these two photos pretty much line up for the panoramic, right? It's like, that's the craziest way I've ever seen a panoramic be taken. Maybe that's like standard, but I don't know. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, guys, that's it for this video, shooting around Auburn on the uh, PowerShot S70. Um, we're gonna head back to the studio, AKA my living room, and check out the photos and talk about it a little bit. So thanks for coming along. Reviewing these photos, I was greeted with unexpected results. As I said, the small screen made it hard to gauge what the photos actually looked like on the street. However, there's a few gems that I particularly enjoyed. First is the typical car shots of the Lincoln Continental and Toyota T100 that you already saw. In regards to the Continental, the reflections are the most interesting part of the photo, but sadly, the lack of any sort of background blur distracts from the subject. The depth of field is abysmal, but I don't presume to expect much out of this little lens here. The way the power shot rendered the greens saturates the steel nicely. The contrast of the white vehicle makes it pop, which leads me to a major characteristic of this camera that stands out to me. The overblown highlights. This was not purposeful, but the sky is blown out in almost every shot. It's not too much of a bother, and the only shot where it really matters is this one of the courthouse, and the sun was already setting, bringing the exposure of the sky to a nice blue. 
Overall, my two favorites out of this entire shoot are these. The optical flare corrects the lack of depth of field issue by obscuring the background, but concurrently draws the eye to the wagon with the leading lines from the corner. This other photo just really worked out with the framing of the window. If you can ignore the abhorrent amount of chromatic aberration, this one turned out nice. I also find it a little humorous because typically a window is used as a compositional framing device in photography, but in this one it's backwards, and the window is the subject to be framed. Probably some sort of aesthetic theory to be dissected there, but I already graduated film school, so no need to write you an essay. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I already have another video in the works, so stay tuned for more. See you guys soon.